All right, I want to make it very clear how I would think about this if I encountered this on a real SAT. So obviously, I would read it first. I'd notice, even before I read it, I got a lot of equations. Uh, so that's that's already scaring me. The function f and g are defined as f of x equals 1 fourth x minus 9, g of x equals 3 fourths x plus 21. If the function h is defined as h of x equals f of x plus g of x, what is the x-coordinate of the x-intercept of the graph of y equals h of x in the xy plane? So uh, I'm going right to Desmos. I just don't trust myself. I, I understand all the pieces, right? I understand what an x-intercept is. I understand what it means to do f of x plus g of x. I would just need to add the two equations, but ugh, I just, I don't trust it. So well, let's go to Desmos. And uh, there's a lot of things you can do here, but my thing is always like, keep it simple. So let's do f of x equals one fourth uh, x minus nine, x minus nine. And whenever I go to Desmos, one other piece of my strategy is I'm always looking back and forth between my typing and the actual equation because I uh, very frequently uh, will just type something wrong, you know, especially when I'm using this iPad. But um, yeah, basically, I don't want to make that kind of mistake of doing the exact work, but then losing it out because I, I mistyped a negative or something. So one fourth x minus nine, three fourths x plus 21. Everything looks good. Now h of x is, this is great. We can just, I mean, I don't even need the h of x at this point, but I'll type it out of habit. Uh, and then just Desmos knows how to read other functions. So if I just do um, f of x here, f of x plus g of x, um, there we go. It's gonna give me a new thing. So let me zoom out so you can really see what's going on, right? I have three different equations. The f of x is the green, I don't care about that, let's turn it off. The g of x is the purple, I don't care about that, let's turn it off. The h of x is what I care about and we want the x-intercept of that. It's still a line and I could just tap that x-intercept, it's negative 12, so there's my answer, uh, negative 12. I wonder though, if some people are gonna get positive 12 here, uh, partly because they forget, even on Desmos, the difference between an x and a y intercept, right? We, we, on the SAT, we talk about y-intercepts a lot more than we talk about x-intercepts. So out of habit, you might kind of just look at the y-intercept anyway. But I, I also think that, I think that if you were to try to do this by hand, it's much more tempting to find a y-intercept, even if you think you're finding an x-intercept, right? You kind of know what this is, but your, your instinct is, I'm going to plug in zero to something. And so it, because it says x, and because it's just easier I think a lot of people are going to take this, these, and put zero in here. For so they're going to basically do f of zero. If you do that, you get zero minus nine, zero plus twenty-one, and there's where the positive twelve comes from, right? Negative nine plus twenty-one is is twelve. So uh, I I think if if I'm wrong, you know, let me know. But if you did do that and make that mistake, please let me know. But it's just, you know, it's a good example of why I would prefer to just throw it in Desmos and then I don't have to worry about the, the like all the different points and stuff like that. I can just see it with my eyes. Um, and now in this case, to actually combine them by hand isn't so hard, right? So if we wanted to do H of X, we would do, we would just substitute, right? So one fourth X minus nine, that's my kind of like F of X, so I'll put it in parentheses, uh, plus uh, three fourths x plus 21. Now, normally, another reason to be skeptical of doing this is usually the equations uh, are going to have other complexities, right? So, as, as simple as just if this were a negative, that pot, that plus, that's going to completely change the process and make it much more complicated. Now, in this case, nothing here is complicated. So, those parentheses I drew, we can just get rid of them. They don't matter. There's nothing being distributed, there's no negatives here. So, all is good. And then combining things is also easier than it looks because even though there are fractions, they kind of work out nice, right? One fourth X plus three fourths X is just one X. And then there's your negative nine plus 21 is 12. So H of X equals X plus 12. Again, someone could still make the mistake now of putting in zero for X and getting positive 12 out. What we really need to do because it's an X intercept, that means that the Y coordinate is zero. So we get zero is equal to X plus 12, then subtract your 12 and negative 12 equals x. So yeah, the algebra, not that bad, but I'm always thinking about what would a slightly harder version of this question look like? And I even think here, there are more places to mess up just writing it out and doing it by hand than if you just put it in Desmos. And so I wanna remind you all that that is there and you wanna be judging your own 
the ability to make mistakes as you're deciding what to do on a, on a question. So Desmos is there if you don't trust yourself.